Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. We have a special visitor today in episode 6 of the Minecraft Underground Survival and he's actually placed down the block, hasn't he? Of course, Mr. Enderman. Well, welcome anyway, guys. I've been very busy and very productive. I've got some things I want to show you in today's episode. I'm not leaving that there. However, I am going to silk touch it. I never know when I'm going to need this grass. Something tells me he's either taken some grass from down here or he's taken one of the stairs. No, he's just he's just down here. Um, I kind of need to kill him. I mean, I kind of want to kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill the Enderman. I'm sorry. We know we don't have any friends in this cave. These things are quite strong, though. Well, it's not quite an Ender Pearl. Either way, we got ourselves a grass block. Where does my grass go? I think it's in a chest down here somewhere, right? It's right there. Well, dirt slash grass. That'll do. So to start off with, guys, we now have the complete collection. I'm no longer missing some chests. I've started to take apart a bunch of the mine shaft. Got a little bit of wood there. Lots of fences which is going to be very useful going forward because when we do eventually get chickens, cows, pigs, I'm not going to have to spend large quantities of my wood resources making fences. We already have them. Don't forget, fences require wood, uh, planks, and also sticks as well. I've also started to replace things with lava buckets. We will continue to do that. You guys were like, please just save your coal or you're going to be mining it constantly. Until I get fortune, you guys are probably right. So, just to show you guys the progress I've made. So, starting down here, I kept getting lost. I kept getting lost going towards the dungeons that we found in the last episode. Uh, I'm not using this. We're sticking to iron for the time being. Uh, we placed this. We're going to go in there today. The sooner we can get ourselves zombie villagers, the better it will be. Because if a wandering trader ends up close to us again, we can start to do some trading. But anyway, I kept getting lost and I kept having to go down here and then underneath the cave system. You've seen me do it plenty of times. So I've added in this staircase. This staircase then takes me down here, which I've got rid of all the wood resources. This takes us to both dungeons. This one being the Spooder Spawner, which by the look of things, guys, has nothing inside of there. And that's, that's obviously a really strange bug. There's no, there's no mob in there. Could you imagine if it started spawning pigs though? That could be very efficient for us. So I continued all the way down here and we have ourselves our skeleton spawner. Although again, it doesn't show the mobs. That's quite strange, but we know it spawns skeletons because well, you guys told me in the last episode and thank you guys for reminding me. I really do appreciate it. This is quite far down. It's, it's a very difficult farm to work with. This is skeletons. I'm not necessarily in need of skeletons. The reason why is because, well, we have ourselves flame power and infinity and unbreaking, of course. I, I only needed ever one arrow. Until I get infinity, well, arrows are kind of pointless. Yes, they prov th this will provide bows. It will also provide uh, armor in some cases. I'm going to make it into an XP farm, but it's not going to be the one I usually do. For one reason, we hit a roadblock. So when I was building it, you need a couple of things. You need ice, you need kelp, and you need soul sand. I can get the soul sand. Kelp is going to be very difficult to obtain. In fact, I have no idea how I'm going to obtain that. And uh, ice. Ice, I would need the, the trader guy. And I would need emeralds, so we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is just make this a dropper XP farm. It will still be efficient. The only thing that's going to be decreased is my swords. I'm going to have to use my swords more often. So what will happen is I will cover the whole entire back. The water will then flow into this, like as you guys can see. They will then drop into a chamber. I'm then able to kill them. I gotta be really careful though because in the meantime of me doing this, things have been spawning. But again, we also want to go to the uh, the nether as well. That's the main thing I wanted to do today. Talking about this, we, we kind of do need to block this off a little bit. And with me doing it, I'm also going to have to I'm going to also have to place down a bunch of torches because I want the mob cap of this to be as efficient as it can. You, um, you might also hear a zombie down here. It's a zombie villager and I can't seem to pinpoint where it's at. Now I'm actually hoping there could be um, a zombie farm down here. Could you imagine if we could link all these things together? So let's, let's get on with this. Let's get this thing done. So I've just made this a really, really big room. 
it's even as it even can be. These things are just going to go down there. So for this to work, I am going to have to go down here. Just so I don't get myself killed, I'm going to go down by two. We are going to go down to probably just before bedrocks. So there's bedrock right there. Right, I'm fine with that. So we're going to bring that to about there. It just gives me a little bit more room to work with. So this one block right there is where the uh, the animals, the mobs, are going to die. Or that's where they're going to go. For a skeleton or a zombie to die, it needs... Oh, I've just, I've just wrecked this, haven't I? I'm an idiot. Let's let's uh, move this over by one, shall we? This was just my infinite water source because we are going to have to use this. That makes sense a little bit more. I'm going to have to go back down again, aren't I? That's just me being a doofus. So, yeah, um, we're going to have to mine out a room, actually. They're going to go there. They're just going to fall down. We can go down by an extra one. So this is just going to be a very, very small mined out room. Whenever we do kill things, we're going to gain, well, XP, we're going to gain bones, we're going to gain arrows, and whatever whatever else they drop, really. And I don't really like working with that, though. I, I mean, I could put carpets down here, but we're not going to go that far down, so I guess we'll just lift, lift this up by one. They're going to fall a little bit, but they're probably not going to take much damage. And that is literally the only bummer about this, that they're not going to take much damage. Right guys, let's just mine out a small room in preparation for this. So I'm just going to use my diamond pick a little bit. We could do with some extra stone. I don't want to let this room be too messy to start off with. It's really not going to be a huge room. It's just going to be a small room to house everything for killing skeletons. We're just going to need a couple of chests down here. We are going to need ourselves a disenchanter as well though, because that's the main reason for this. For the whole reason I'm only doing this is because we don't really have a farm at this moment and I just want to be able to disenchant things to gain myself a little bit of XP. Well, a little bit of extra XP. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go back by two more and I think that should be enough. Then we can start to decorate this in, in stone brick. So before we do get on with this, let's be very smart. We can get two birds with one stone here. Get these mobs dropping now and then I can start to do that room. But I'm also going to have to figure out how on earth... Because I, I want this to continue to go down still. I want this to be able to go down to my room. And I think that's what we've been able to do. There we go. This is going to go straight down to my room. Making life a lot easier. i got to be really careful with this pick though. I don't want to use too much of the durability of this. So I've got stone. We're using stone for now. Until we move to the stone brick. Which we are going to do. I guess we can just fill this in as well. Like this. All right, we now have a way in and, way, and a way out without having to use, use ladders. I think it's a little bit better when we use this way. So let's take a couple more of these out. And this can go out as well. So how's that looking? Yeah, because that room, that won't really be needed once we've got this done. Right, so these things are going to drop right there. So I can get this thing set up now. Now, I like to use cobblestone for my builds when it's a dungeon because I know it's there then. I know I won't mine through it. Uh, we'll take these out as well. And then we can start to, this is what's going to be filled in. This needs to be filled in right here. I'm going to have to go back through there, but it's not too much of a big deal. So the skeletons will be able to fit through there perfectly. We need to fix that because that's where they're going to drop. So I don't have ice. So it's just going to have to be a drop one for now. It sucks. And it is going to take me a while to kill some of these things. But as long as we have the kill chamber, they can just stay there and I can kill them whenever I need to. So that can go there. And I've made an extra way to get around the back of the mine as well. See, I've I've thought I thought about it very very well. We don't want to be able to we don't want to miss this mine because look how much goodies are down here. I've still not fully explored this, and I'm still convinced there's going to be a zombie spawner there as well. So look at this. It looks it looks so much cleaner. So inside of here we go. Uh, it's the water that we need to do first. So we're going to take this out. Right, so I've only got one bucket on me, so that's not really helpful. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here, but it's it's not enough. It's not enough to kill me. All right, so one there. One there. There we go. So this all goes to the end. So the skeletons will then drop into there and then be pushed down. So just to show you exactly how this works, let's get it going. I think I've got a torch up top as well, so that's not going to be very helpful. Let's just take you out and... While I am there, we're going to have to make ourselves a slab to stop them from spawning on there. I guess we'll just go with a stone one. I've got a lot of stone right now. Plus, I, could keep I can keep repairing my axe if I really needed to. 
Come on. Up we go. Torch. Broke. That goes there. That's broken. And then let's break this. And you guys can probably hear the zombie now. It's it's moaning. It's groaning. All right. There's one. There's one more at the back. Or is it just this one? That one. All right. There they are. Don't shoot me. There we go. I knew it was going to happen, but I'm okay with it. Because they can't get out now. Right. That's done. That is done. Now, this is going to spawn them in groups of... I reckon it's going to spawn them in groups of three. There is no limit. I'm going to get rid of that. There is no limit on bedrock, from my understanding, of how many can be in this chamber. I think it's like 20-something on, on, on Java. There is no limit on bedrock. We've already started to gain a couple of things. So these things are now going to start to fall. So what I now need to do is I need to decorate this room a little bit better. We're going to have to add ourselves... See, I kind of... It's not even even, is it? I kind of need to take this out a little bit more. Just buy one extra. So we're going to convert all of these to stone brick. And we're, we're going to get this ready. I'm also going to put eventually... Um, that's where the hoppers are going to go. Oh, mistakes were made. I'm out. I'm out. Mistakes were made. I broke the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to get down here as fast as we can and fix this mistake. That's not going to end up very well. Dude, I made a mistake. Mistakes were very, very much made there. All right. I'm going to let these guys find it out. Need to get this there. Okay. Whew. I broke that and I forgot they could get out in two spaces. Well, mistakes were definitely made. See, these things just don't stop. But the loot just keeps coming and that's that's very, very helpful. I don't care how much I ruin my iron swords. We just keep getting so much XP. So the plan here is to add a little bit of wood to the floor. Probably gonna just use jungle planks because I got in fact, you know what guys? I'm probably not I'm probably gonna use carpets um, We're gonna do this around the outside. I still need to change that though. I'm also gonna have to get myself Obviously some chests going on in here. That's the biggest problem is I don't necessarily have much space for chests What I do not need though is I don't necessarily need bows Any of the items though. I do need right. Do I have any more stone brick? I do let's make some stone brick stairs because we are going to need them. So, let's just go with... I don't, know, I, don't, I don't even need that many, but... I'll take them. That's wrong. Here we go. Nope. That's wrong again. This is taking us out now. And this is taking us up. Stone brick in, in, in caves, I think, works really well. And I know I should have used a stone cutter, and I'm not using... Ah, dude. I'm not using my uh, resources to their full capability, but it's not too much of a problem. The, the the main thing is we're making a lot of progress here. That's going to be very, very much needed. And while we are here, and I've got spares, we may as well make it... We may as well make getting up and down a lot easier, mightn't we? Although, how's that looking? How big's the space here? Eh, yeah, it's, it's not looking like I'm going to bang my head every single time we go down there. I guess you go there. That's wrong again. No, that's not going there. Oh, we're at this point. See, I'm going to put a wall there. Because I know for a fact I'm not going to use it. But it is going to stay as... Uh, cobblestone, I guess? I guess we'll just do this. It just means I'm not going to break into it. Because knowing me later on, I'll get to a point and be like, Hey! There's some cobblestone. Maybe there's a spawner there. And I know I, I know I'm blocking this off. Is there an alternate? Uh, there's a wandering trader somewhere. He's above me. Because I can hear him. I guess we'll just... I guess I might as well just leave this slightly open, right? There's a little bit of water there, but... It's not, it's not too much to worry about, right? I'd rather just leave this open. At least I can... Can we make this a little bit smaller? They're dropping pretty fast. Yeah, this is this is this works for me. I've got a way in and a way out still. Got a wandering llama somewhere. I guess you go there. And just because I did get rid of that wall, why don't I get rid of that? Yeah, that's not a good idea. It's a very very bad idea. Um, 
I guess I won't put the infinite water source there. It's behind there. It's it's not too much of a worry. Let's take this out. And then oh. I'm my my inventory is a whole whole mess already in this series. I'm usually a very, very clean person when it comes to Minecraft, but I'll tell you what, in this series, I've been very, very messy. How do I want to do this? Because I'm going to put some, like, lanterns or something in this either. Oh! I still need to do the floor. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Skeletons got very, very angry. Like, let's make 64. We'll use these first. Because I'm going to add some carpets, like a red carpet or something, or maybe even yellow. I don't know. We'll see how we feel. I do need you. So that's 12 done. Another 64. Okay. Significant progress made. Let's just finish up a couple more things and get some chests in. So I've got five chests. We do need one more. I have started taking wood from the mine shafts and started using that, so I may as well continue to do that at this point. Um, I've got, how many pieces have I got? Four. We need four more of these. I guess for the sake of this, we'll just take down this one. I think that might actually be enough, right? Seven? Seven pieces? One more? There it is. There we go. That's enough to make an extra chest. That means I've then got a chest for bows, for arrows. Bones can go in another one, I guess, or maybe they can go in the same one. I don't know. All right, it's down this way. See what I mean? Making that a lot easier for me to get back from A to B. I could have made it a little bit high, higher, but I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I know I didn't bring that back everything with me, but that's okay. Um, see, how do I want to do this? Because I was in the process of just like sorting out the roof. So I've got a couple more. I might as well use these, right? So these are going to go like all the way around. It's just going to end there. I know it's not. I know it's not beautiful, but oh well. Let's take you out. And let's switch this with this. And then this can go inside of there. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not super pretty. I don't think anyone really needs to know about that space. So you can go in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's make it. No, that's not the right one. Nope, that's not the right thing either. And let's make the extra chest. So that's six. Okay. So for the time being, bows can go inside of there. Bones, I know I'll go through a lot of them. And arrows can go inside of here. Now I'm going to put armor in as well. So these things are going to be smelted and melted eventually. And disenchanted, should I say. So I can go there. All right. Let's grab them. That's all I've been doing, guys, is just killing these things. I got an enchanted bow there. I picked up another enchanted bow. Which, again be disenchanted and there's another one we're on hard difficulty don't forget so these things are going to be pretty easy to uh to drop that's only power but i'll take it so you can disenchant them and that's only unbreaking so that can be done and another helmet as well so other than a lighting system it's actually pretty good it's very basic but it, it, it works obviously i'm gonna have chests going in side of here as well I keep all the back stone i'm kind of happy with that being stone did i change the floor there though i did not so we'll do that can I reach it? You and you can be these. Because we're hitting, we're, at, oh, we're right at the bottom. We're right at bedrock. I wonder if we'll find one or two of these diamonds. And then, I don't know, maybe we could put like disenchanter there, furnace, furnace maybe. Or maybe like a lantern or something. So we do need to make a disenchanter. In order for us to do this, we need two pieces of wood. So. There's surely, I think there's two to my right here. I didn't take these. Yeah, so saving some of the wood for something else is, is proven quite useful. I, I, I love living off the mine shaft wood. All right, let's go straight back down. And then let's make this. I can make an extra furnace as well, I think. Nope, I'm one short. So that'll go there. That's for disenchanting. You can now be moved. Uh, I was using, I know, I was using the coal I needed to. I guess that can go there. Uh, let's save my diamond pick now, and let's just take a little bit of cobblestone, I guess. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna have to get past there, right? So I guess we'll take these. They don't start to drop until about there, so that's fine. Let's just make an extra furnace. 
because this is just for smelting things. Although I should have just, I should just do blast furnaces. We will, we will replace these with blast furnaces. 100, 125 million percent. They will be changed. I will change them. It's just making sure we have some form of temporary setup. I don't have enough wood to make myself two, three chests. So at the moment, it's just a case of me killing these, which I'm gonna do right now. Because I'll take all the goodies. That's great. I love it. It's working. Uh, okay, extra bows. We've got four enchanted bows already. And a little bit of armor. So then go there. And then I've got bows. Bones. And I've also got arrows as well. Although I do need to keep one of these. I keep forgetting that. I always do that. I always, always forget to do that. So it works. That's that's the very, very basicness of how easy I can make this farm. Although I will make it a little bit more complex. I'm also going to start... I, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go and get ourselves some lanterns. So I can make seven. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but I would rather use lanterns than, than most other things. I guess you can go there. And I guess I'll take this out. Put that there. Uh, where else am I going to put? See, these are just going to be chests. I don't know if I'm going to put chests on this side. But what I can do is I can take these out and have these floating in here. I've got two extras. We don't need you there either. Uh, I guess that can be taken out. And I guess that can be floating there as well. Yeah, I think this is lit up enough. Obviously, the whole staircase coming down and going into this room will change. I need to get some carpets as well. I think this room will look a little bit better with some carpets. So I think I did bring some bones up with me. I think they might be in my farm. I'm going to get myself, I think, red carpets. Although I think white could also work as well. But how much have I got? There we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because whatever I use now, I'm just going to use... Or leave the the crops there anyway. So we'll go with these. That's enough. That's 28 of these. So let's get these guys going. It's producing only yellow at this moment. So that's not very... That's not what I wanted. I want some red. Want, give me a little bit of red, please. Does it not produce red? It, it does. I didn't mean to do that either. Okay, well maybe yellow is going to be the color of choice. Got a couple of seeds now, though. Could be a good way or a good start to luring in uh, some chickens. 16 left. Let's take all of these. See, I know we can get red because... It's, it's red or it's red or yellow or obviously in this case it's producing more than just red or yellow Although it doesn't seem to want to one bit Why? What is wrong with this game? Well, I'm I'm happy. To, hey Maybe we'll go with these ones Hey, we finally got a red one just as I start to run out. That's that's just so typical. Okay, so we've got a bunch of flowers. I've got this one red one. Got a lot of yellow flowers. They can go in the wool chest. So they can stay inside of here. Because I know for a fact I will start using different colors as time goes by. But I need to get myself a little bit more bone meal. Because we're going to have to bone meal this. Obviously, if you bone meal on a red flower, it gives you more of the corresponding types. So if we take... Let's just take ten. Whatever I get now, I get now. Um, I'm hoping we... I mean, I've got eight... Carpet. I don't think that's gonna be sorry. I got an eight Eight wool. I don't think that's gonna be enough. So if we do it to you there you go. There we go. All right. I Didn't mean to do that either So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and We just keep spreading these across Because we want the yeah, we want the red ones not the yellow ones I think, I think I might actually have enough for now. Right, let's make, uh, I've got quite a lot here. So let's just make ourselves this. We're going to turn all of these into red. We can then make ourselves 14 and we can then make ourselves carpets, which is 21. 
But is 21 going to be enough for the room? So we might just be too short here. Not two as in number two, but... It's going to be really, 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 really tight. How much have we got? No, we've actually got a couple left. I mean, that's all it needs to be. It just changes the decorations ever so slightly. Now, I'm going to use this on my axe until it breaks. That's broken. And then I can just use my axe as well. Just so I can make... Wait, I've got an extra sword. No, I don't. Dude, my, my entry again. I guess I'll just use this as well. Because I want to go and use some fresh tools. Come on, hurry up and break. Alright, bows. Let's sort this whole entire thing out now. So this to me is a very good start when it comes to having my XP farm. We've worked quite hard to get this done. Again, it's not the most efficient farm, but it's producing things. I don't let these guys kill each other. I've got leather as well. I mean, uh, I don't really have a big use for that. I wish there was a way to turn it into, into proper leather. These bow bows, the ones that are disenchanted will be disenchanted. I'm not worrying too much about my XP because we are going to the nether now. And if I die, well, it's not going to be very nice if I die, is it? So we'll put these inside of here. Okay, let's prepare for the nether. Because, well, we need to be able to make ourselves some brewing stuff. I hope and pray there's going to be uh, a nether fortress right next to us. Okay, so a clean inventory is, is making me happy. So let's just make ourselves a couple of extra things for going in there. Things I do and do not need. So we need to make ourselves a sword... I'm going to make myself an axe as well. I'm not going to be taking my diamond pick with me. I don't think there's any point. If I lose that, I'm going to, I'm going to be screwed. I don't know when I will next be able to get myself um, silk touch. Never mind getting myself even more diamonds. So I don't need a bucket of water because I can't use that. Not necessarily going to need my map. I definitely don't need the seeds and stuff like that as well. So seeds, these can go inside of here. So we do have wheat seeds now. So that's a very, very, very good thing. I'm going to use them to try and lure in some chickens at some point anyway. Last two things I need to get rid of are these two. I kind of do want to take a crafting table with me as well. So we need a little bit of extra wood because, well, I don't got any. So we'll probably knock down the tree farm, make ourselves a flint and steel, and then go into the nether. I just realized I've actually gained myself a couple more cobblestone, like three, four stacks. I'm going to have to protect my portal if we're in the open so I don't get myself killed. Uh, we need one piece of iron because we have to make ourselves a flint and steel. I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget things. I think I've got cobblestone over here as well. It's my cobblestone. Where's my, where did I put my flint and steel? Or my flint? So I don't think it was in the chest down below. It might be, but... I'm going to have to start naming these chests. There we go. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep forgetting. Until we get ourselves item frames. We need leather to do that. This is going to be the, the best uh, best thing that we can do. Right, so stone brick. We don't need this. I'm not desperate on a pickaxe. Sorry, I'm not desperate. Oh, wait. Uh, two iron picks. I guess for safekeeping, I'll take an extra one. I'm not desperate for a furnace. Or a crafting table to go with me. So I guess we'll just make you. I guess I'll, I'm not even going to take the sticks. I don't think we need to take the sticks either. It's too much things to lose. I mean, the only thing I'm really worried about losing is my levels and this bow. But let's go to this portal and let's see where it takes us. I was going to chop down this. But then again, I have to wait for the sapling. So we can, we can do that on the way back. I'm just hoping and praying it's right next to a fortress. Right, portal. Boom. Let's go in. Let's see where this thing is going to put me out. I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. It puts me next to... Uh, there's a gas. We need to get rid of you. Straight away. Come on. There's another one there as well, right? Hey, I'm not going to pass up on the opportunity to take myself some extra things back home with me. Gunpowder. I'm not going to touch any of the quartz at this point. We're going to save the quartz. It's the eyes that we could do with. The gas tears, sorry. Where did he die? I mean, I know that I got the XP over there, but... He didn't drop anything at all. And if he did, it must have fell in lava. However, I did see an enderman. So that's a good sign, because usually he's up there. I usually do not find enderman inside of here. But don't forget, they can bounce from dimensions. So from this to the overworld to the, the end. 
All right, let's 100% secure my portal before we do anything else. So this is enough. It's just to stop gas tears from exploding things. I now need to, I now need to do some exploring, guys. But how I like to do mine is I, I like to use my, I like to use uh, cobble, so I don't get myself lost. We'll go this way a little bit. It's it's the fortresses that we need to get. I don't want to have to travel over very large spaces in order to find one. Now, I don't think changing my render distance is going to make any difference either. I do not like the look of this side. All right. I think we can both say, we can all say there's, there's not anything pretty over there. I mean, I'll have a quick look over here, but I'm not really seeing it. We might need to go in that direction. All right. Well, it's still pretty open. So we've still got a couple more places to try. We'll go over there. As long as this stupid Enderman doesn't look me in the face. Let's continue going over there. I'll tell you what, right? If we do find it, I'll come back and place some cobble. If we don't, there's no there's no point in me placing all of these. I shouldn't get too lost here. Come on, fortress. You're usually a lot closer on bedrock than you are on Java. In Java, I'm usually traveling like a lot of blocks. Can I get down there? Yeah, I can. All right. I'm just... Yeah, I'm too cautious. Although, soul sand, we do need this. I'm going to need this for farms. I'm also going to need it for growing some warts. So we will most certainly take these with me. I need to try and... I need to be able to uh, heal villages as soon as we can. So we are going to do a little bit of exploring, but I got to make sure I know my way back rather than getting myself killed. All right. So I'll go this way and we'll go a little bit higher. I think being able to see things a little bit higher will be better for me. Although this thing also seems to go down as well. <laughs> a little bit of extra. I've got like a stack and a bit of soul sand. I think that's enough. I don't think I need too much more than that. We're going up. There we go. I've got I've got quite a few stacks of these, so we should be okay. Hey, we 100% need these as well. These are fire resistance. These guys are nice guys. Let's get rid of you for now. I don't got looting, so... As long as they die, I don't... Oh, that would have been a very big disaster. Let's do not hit the pigmins. Two B piglins. How many do we get? They two? One. Still a bunch of fire resistance though, right? 8, 16, 24 minutes worth. Let's get rid of you. Come on, don't you dare jump. They're quite deadly, actually. The first big ones are very, very deadly. Did you drop one? Nope. They didn't drop a single one. There's mushrooms in here as well, so I don't gotta worry too much about mushrooms. Or the mushrooms that I'm trying to grow. Or have been trying to grow. See, I'm having a little bit of a look around, but I'm not really seeing anything in... in um, it's not... There's no indications that there's a fortress nearby. I'm not finding, like... I don't know. What's the indication? Loose blazes, I guess? And probably the best bet is to find loose, loose blazes, because they always end up everything. I'm going around the back, though. This is completely around the back. Of where I've spawned from. There's a couple of uh, magma squishies. So I gotta get down at the same time, right? I gotta make sure we don't get lost. Let's put you in the wall instead. Come on. I will continue to explore. I'm determined to find one today. Okay, I got into a little bit of a fight here and the Enderman's just watching me. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Enderman. I'm just gonna bury myself in here for a second just in case you try and kill me. Woo! That was close. That was an enderpearl too. I'd rather it be an Enderman than a, pi than, than a pigman. Because if I hit one of them, I'm gonna be ganged up on. So I've come quite far out. I, I just do not see, unless that's one over there, a fortress. I don't think that's gonna be one though. 
I'll go back on myself a little bit more. I've just been placing down cobble as, as much as I can. I know the cobble will lead me home at least. I do not know where this could be. Well, I'm a little bit worried, guys, because I do not want to be having to travel really far. I was hoping that we were going to spawn right on top of one. I'll go back because there's still one more section that I didn't explore yet. We keep finding the ghasts. Something tells me that something's coming but soon. I've killed a bunch of these, actually. That's like the third one in the same section. There's another one there. He's above me. Come on. Let's go away. Let's keep these things at distance. I, I'm ready to make fire resistance potions and be safe in here, but I'm not ready to be attacked. Like, see what I mean? That's, I, that's not okay, Mr. Mr. Gas. There's another dude right there, that's why. Oh, that's not good. And I'm standing constantly on the fire stuff, too. Give me a break. All right. Good. There's, there was some over here that I didn't pick up. So I got like three, four, five of these. How many have I got? Seven. Seven. That's that's the perfect fire resistance that we could need. All right, let's go, I guess, around this way. All right, great news. We have found one. We have found one. And I'm just going to mark it out exactly where it's at. I know you're a gas. I need to get rid of you. Ooh, that was close. That was very, 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 very close. I've got enough to get me from A to B. I knew there was going to be something around here because these guys just kept spawning. I'll come back for, for more of them. Good news is though, guys, the nether actually hasn't been that laggy on this. Right. I've marked it out. We're not exploring it today because we're running out of time for today's episode. Today's episode's been... Well, I guess, busy. I'm gonna keep killing these things though while we can, right? Just think of all the fire resistance coming forward. No looting though, that's the only problem I have. I guess working on enchanting is gonna be something I need to do. I gotta hope that we can fish out some books that I can disenchant. Or better yet, I guess try and find a stronghold or maybe? It's a bit ambitious, but we never know. All right guys, let's get ourselves home and just get ourselves home alive. So I came from that way. Okay, I nearly got lost then, I nearly went under. I gotta go up and then back down. We will make an easier route to that to that place. This really isn't safe, to say the least, living right on the edge. But I've got 20 spares. I was not giving up until we found... I was not giving up until we found that, that, that fortress, because we need it. And we, we should be home absolutely perfect and safe. We're probably gonna end up with a couple of uh, pigments rolling into my uh, world now. It's always fun, isn't it? You gotta love you, gotta love me and love you, a good uh, pigment. I guess let's get home. Well, we made it back in one piece. I nearly died at the farm. I'm still alive though. I think my next goal might be to open this a little bit more and just hope that some things can wander in. There's a little bit of sand there as well. I am gonna start needing some sand because. We're going to need glass bottles and so much more. But guys, again, if you do enjoy the series, please be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And of course, I'll catch you all in the next underground survival episode. Time to go and grind a little bit of XP. Catch you next time. Bye.